am Heidi Harriet, and I'm here at Circus World in Baraboo, Wisconsin, and I'd like to welcome you to my new trick horse training program, Horse Tricks. Hi, I'm Heidi Harriet. I'm proud to be a third generation professional entertainer, horse trainer, and horse lover. My passion lies in liberty, trick horse, high school, and dancing horse training. My horses and I perform over 300 shows annually, including horse shows, circuses, fairs, amusement parks, rodeos, and more. The training method I learned from my family has provided me the opportunity to create consistent, one-of-a-kind performances show after show. For four generations, our family method has proven to be successful. I also love to facilitate training clinics and seminars throughout the country. And now, through my Horse Tricks training series, I'm providing you with an opportunity to learn my training method so you too can have fun doing tricks with your horses. Whether you are a novice or experienced horse person, I know my method can work for you. Over the course of this series, I'm going to share my family's time-tested training methods with you, teaching more than a dozen tricks, including the yes, the no, the smile, pick up with the mouth, the pedestal, and lots more. Let's get started. My training method includes four phases of training. The phase one training is general manners and behavior. Phase two is fundamentals and groundwork. Phase three is horseplay. That's where the trick horse training comes in. And phase four is training for advanced disciplines. The prerequisites for trick horse training are phase one and two. Some of the elements of phase one training include leading, tying, bathing, grooming, tacking, feeding, and move over. Phase two elements include round penning, lunging, backing up, a pivot on the forehand and haunches, all important desensitizing, and if riding, walk, trot, and canter. To find out more about the four training phases, you can go to HeidiHarriet.com. Coming up on Heidi Harriet Presents Horse Tricks. The Yes. I love traveling around the country with my horses performing and facilitating clinics. I get to meet a lot of great people. If you're interested in hosting a clinic and you have a facility or a location, let me know. I'd be happy to discuss it with you. There's a lot of options available. We can do trick horse training, liberty training, dancing high school horse training, and or general horsemanship. So lots of options available. I'd love to come to you and facilitate a clinic. We've talked about what you need for your horse to get started with trick training. Now I want to introduce you to the tools and tack that we're going to be using in our training series. First you need the old-fashioned webbing or leather halter. We're actually going to be hooking reins right into the side of this. So you need this type of halter. We're going to put a set of reins on that halter, a set of continuous reins, that have snaps on the end. You're also going to need a lunge line. A nice soft cotton works great. A good snap on the end of it. About 10 feet long is just about right. Bring a lead rope as well. Again, probably between four and six feet long with a good snap on it. An important part of our trick course training is a single hobble. This goes right around their left ankle. This is a real important part for our bow, the pedestal, and some other tricks we'll be training down the road. We're gonna have a little fun teaching your horse to pick up with the mouth. So we have a handkerchief, just a bandana. Put a little feed or treats just right in the middle of it, tie that up, have that on hand. 
For treats, I prefer alfalfa cubes. They're inexpensive, the horses love them, and they work great. Whatever treats you like, and a little treat pouch to put them in. And then you're gonna need a little dressage whip or riding crop, preferably a little dressage whip on hand. An optional thing is a pair of leather gloves to keep your hands from getting hurt through all the ropes. Those are the tools and tack we'll be using for the first series of our trick horse training. Now with that in mind, I'd like to cover my principles of training. Now these are the principles, the things you want to consider when you're training each and every interaction with your horse, actually. The first is safety first. Very important. I try to make sure every time I interact with the horses and those around me that we have a safe environment. Patience. You want to bring your patience to the barn and the training ring. Very important. Capability. We want to make sure the horse is capable of what we're asking them to do. Consistency and clarity. We want to be very clear, concise, and consistent with our cues, our mannerisms, that type of thing. Uh, repetition, very important. We're when we're clear, concise, we also want to repeat. Repetition is a very, very important part of training our horses, especially the cues and trick horse training. Reward. Very important, we want to praise the horse. We want to praise the horse verbally. Good boy, good girl. We want to praise them physically, a lot of petting. And we do want to use treats, but we want to use the treats on an occasional basis, not as a bag. We're going to cover that in a lot more detail during these episodes. We want to talk about discipline a little bit. It's important that your body language, your voice commands, and sometimes your tools assist you when your horse is doing something unwanted and unsafe. And finally, progress. Now this is something that sets me apart from the other trainers, something I learned. I'm a third generation trainer. My father has drilled this into us. We need to progress. We need to move forward with our training and help set ourselves up for success. So those are my principles of training. As always, they can be found online at HeidiHarriet.com. I'd actually encourage you to go ahead and print those out, post them in your barn, Take a minute to review them before you start any training process, and I do believe it will help you set yourself up for success. Well, you saw us demonstrate the yes with Lady Dancer. Now I'm going to show you how to train the yes. And I've enlisted the help of a beautiful Morgan horse, Cosmos Raphael, from Domino Stables here in Baraboo, Wisconsin. All right, first thing always we're going to do is our tools and tack. We need a little dressage whip or a crop. We need a leather halter with some reins tied into the side of it, snapped in just like that. And we need our little treats right here in my pocket. Now as far as position, we want to stand just about a foot from the horse, right across from their feet. Good boy, just like that. And to train the yes, we're actually going to reach right under their center of their chest and just give them a little, come here, uh, somebody's going to eat here today. We're going to be right under the center, we want to give them, come here, a little pinch, come here. He's thinking about food, get your head over, good, nope, ho, come here, good boy, step forward if they back up on you, and a nice ho, whoa. Nice stern woe to get them back in place because they will want to move around just a little bit. If you're in your own little paddock area, you can go right up against a fence. That'll alleviate the horse moving side to side from you. Don't train in your stall. I do find that to be an unsafe place. Okay, let's try this again. Good. Come here. Nope, up forward. Good. Backing up again. I'm going to reach back and push it forward. Ho! Good, let's do this, good, good, that's perfect, just like that, that's the yes. Now what we want to do is actually transfer the cue over right here to the side, just like that, good boy. So as we're touching him under here, good, we're actually going to touch him on the shoulder at the same time so that we can stand here like you saw with Lady Dancer and get a beautiful nod of the head, a yes. The next trick in the series we'll be training is the no. Now you saw Lady Dancer demonstrate the no, and I've enlisted the help of Cosmos Raphael once again to help us train it. 
Same tools intact as the Yes. We'll always be using our webbing or leather halter for all of the tricks. And our set of reins, you wanna keep those handy. Little dressage whip or crop, and I have some treats in my pocket. Okay, now the position is the same as the Yes. We're gonna be just about a foot from our horse. Ho, oh, good, just like that. Standing just about across from their feet. And we're gonna reach up, with, we're gonna hold on with our reins, reach up here right by the neck and ask him for a no, just like that. Good boy. Ready, let's try that. Oh, excellent, good. Come up here, I'm gonna make him stand still. Good, just like that, that was perfect. Now, we're in the center of our little paddock here for video purposes, but it is wise to stand over against a rail or fence when you're training this stuff. That way the horse can't dance around too much on you. So let's try that again. We're gonna to touch right here by the neck. Excellent, good. Now you wanna spend as much time with this trick desensitizing and touching the horse's head. In three generations of trainers in our family, we've never had a horse become head shy as a result of training any of these tricks, but you do need to be mindful of keeping them desensitized around the head when you're training the no. Now the finished product is gonna look just like that. We're gonna put our hand up just like that. That's the no. To find out more about trick horse training and all my training programs, you can go to HeidiHarriet.com. Coming up on Heidi Harriet Presents Horse Tricks, The Smile. You're watching Heidi Harriet Presents Horse Tricks. Now the next fun trick we're gonna train is the smile, which you saw Lady Dancer do. I'm gonna show you how to do that by teaching Cosmos Raphael. Again, Cosmos Raphael has not done any of these tricks. We worked one day prior to this taping just to see what kind of a horse he was. I'd never met him before, and I really enjoy him. He's been a great horse for us. So what you're seeing here is what you can expect to see the results with your horses at home. You want a horse, again, that's desensitized and been worked just a little bit, so they're nice and calm and ready to listen to what you're offering them. Okay, so we're gonna always have, again, our webbing or leather halter and our reins. This time we're gonna take a step forward and be more up by the horse's head. We still wanna be si across from them, not in front of them. We're gonna take a piece of treat. Their favorite treat works great for this. And we just wanna tickle, the, just like this. So we wanna tickle them and get that lip up. Good, huh? Good, just like that, I like that. So that's what you're looking for. This is a trick, the only trick that I recommend you can train in the stall. As you're going by throughout the day, take their favorite treat, hold it up, and say smile. Remember to always say, oh, that's a beautiful smile. Remember to always say your cue word, smile, while you're cueing him. Get over. Now he's getting just a bit mouthy with the treats. I don't want that, so I'm gonna keep pushing him away. Again, that's why we have reins on. I can actually pull my, his head over this way instead of always pulling on the lead rope and pulling him towards me. So let's try that one more time. Nice smile. Let's get a beautiful smile. Oh, that was a lick. We want a smile. <laughs> Come on, big smile. Top lip. I like that he gets his head nice and high in the air. Good, there we go. That was a little bit. We're looking for the top lip to come up, not necessarily a whole bite mouth. Now the finish cue for the smile is gonna be right here. You're gonna say smile and have your horse smile. Now we're gonna teach them a fun trick, picking up with their mouth. The way we start this is with a handkerchief. You saw Lucky Star pick up his handkerchief and wave it around. That's a combination of a pick up with the mouth combined with the yes cue and they wave the handkerchief. Now the way we train this, we're actually gonna use either a pedestal or some kind of a short table or some type of a tub or bin that we can put our handkerchief on. We're gonna take our handkerchief, fill it up with some feed or their favorite treat, tie it up. We wanna lay that right up here. Now, you need to make sure that you take your whip or your foot 
and hold on to the handkerchief because they're going to nose it right off. Put their head down and tell them, get it. Hold it. Hold it. Oops. <laughs> we need it to be able to get our all right in, which is our release cue. Very good. Good boy. Okay, now I want to hold on to it so he doesn't nose it right off. Get it. Say, get it. Good. Hold it. All right. Good boy. That's exactly. He's going faster than I can demo the trick for you. Okay, good boy. Going to do that again. Hold on to your handkerchief. Get it. Good. Let him bite it. Hold it. Hold it. All right. Take it right out of their mouth. Good boy. So that's how you start to train the pickup with the mouth. Now what will happen, you only want to put about a handful of grain, small amount of grain or treats in here. By the time they finish out the treats out of the handkerchief and they dissolve, your trick will be trained. Then you can actually put the handkerchief around your whip. You can actually put it up on their side and encourage them to pull off their saddle pad, untie handkerchiefs, and hold things in their mouth. Again, the cue is always to say, get it. Good, hold it. And all right. The pick up with the mouth. Now we've had some fun training some of the easier tricks like the yes, the no, the smile, and the pick up with the mouth. Now we're gonna get into tricks that get a little more involved. But if you've been going along okay <laughs> and haven't had a lot of trouble, then you have a horse who's ready for this. We're gonna get him to stand up on the pedestal in this trick. Now, we have our pedestal. You want to make sure you have a pedestal that flares out at the bottom so that it has the stability you need. It doesn't need to be very high off the ground. This is actually one of my performing pedestals, probably a little higher than the one you might make at home to have some fun with. Okay, we have our webbing halter and our reins on. And now we also have our hobble on the horse. We have a rope attached to a hobble right on his left front leg. That's going to help us in getting his feet up on the pedestal without having to reach down and put ourselves in an unsafe position. So we're standing kind of beside the pedestal. Do not stand in front of the horse and pull them up. It puts you in a precarious position. Again, for video purposes, we're in the center of our paddock. You'd want to be along a wall or a rail here. It alleviates the horse being able to move sideways. OK, so I'm going to hold him with my left hand, <coughs> tap him a bit with my whip, and we're going to ask our helper to pull their leg up. So let's go ahead and put their leg right up on the pedestal. Good. Not too hard, just like that. And then that person needs to stay with you. Good. And you need to go over just a bit that way. Good. OK. And now we're going to ask him to step up. Good. This is perfect. Huh? Good. Ho. 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 Good boy. Excellent. Now we're not going to beg him to stay here. I said a stern ho. Ho. Good boy, I'm going to give him a treat. Good, ho. And unhook that hobble. Usually once they get up, they're pretty comfortable here, just like this. Excellent. Now you want to use your release cue here. It's very important. All right, and pull them off sideways. Good, just like that. Don't let them jump forward over the pedestal. Well, that was fantastic. Cosmos Raphael did a great job for us. And now we're moving on to probably the most requested trick we train, the bow. Now the bow is a very intricate trick to train, but we're going to give you an overview and then we'll break it up for you. And this is something you can take your time with at home. This is the most requested trick to train because people love to see their horse to bow. And it's also a way you can mount your horse, which is wonderful. Okay, so again, we're going to have our halter and our reins on. And we're also going to have a single hobble on the horse's left front foot, just like we used for the pedestal, a nice soft hobble. We're going to have our lunge line about 10 feet. It's a soft cotton rope with a snap on the end. My little dressage whip and, of course, some treats as well. Now, again, this is something you want to do when your horse has been worked out a little bit and they're not anxious and not into mischief. Okay, so we're going to take our lunge line here. We're actually going to attach it to the horse's hobble. If you've already practiced the pedestal, then your horse is comfortable with this. If not, then you want to just walk your horse in a circle. Let them know they have a hobble on their front foot. 
just like that. And ho, right there. Okay, now we're gonna take the hobble off, the lunge line off. We're gonna actually hook the lunge line, put it over the back of your horse, come down behind the front legs, and we're gonna hook it right to the hobble. I'm gonna step forward and get off of our rope. Good, ho, right there. Okay, now again, this trick for your location, a small paddock or round pen is great, but be against the rail or the fence on the offside so that the horse can't dance around. For video purposes, we're out in the center of the paddock, so he's subject to move around just a little bit, but it'll give you an idea of what to expect. All right, we waited a little too long and now he stepped over it. Come here. Good hoe. That's it. Hoe right there. Good boy. Okay, so what we're going to do is stand between the horse's front and back legs. We want to stand right up close to the horse, almost like you were getting ready to vault on the horse. The reason is this is going to be the safest place to be. Try not to get in the habit of putting your hands here and leaning your body out. That puts you again in a precarious position and it also does not put you in a position of authority. So we want you to be right up against the horse in a safe position. Your reins should be right about the withers of the horse if you need to tie them. Go ahead and do that. You don't want to be pulling, <laughs> pulling way back here. Okay, I need to get his attention. Quit. If your horse is not paying attention, get their attention. So you want to go ahead and hold, pull their leg up. Ho. And ask them to bow. Ho. 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 All right. Let go of everything and use your release cue just like that. Okay, good boy. That's what the bow looks like. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our show and have learned some fun new things to teach your horses. Remember, we'd love to hear if you have any questions or share your success stories at HeidiHarriet.com. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your horse training journey. And remember, happiness is horses. <laughs>